up guys welcome back to RC Voodoo today I'm going to tell you about the newest firmware update for the Radiolink RC6GS show you how to download and install the firmware uh, the cruise control feature that it adds how it operates and pretty much how to get you going with cruise control on your Radiolink so let's hop over to the computer and I will show you where to go and how to do it okay once you click the link it will bring you to this site here and the uh, firmware will already be here uh, link to click so go ahead and click that it will say version 6.1.2 make sure it is for the rc6gs uh, the link in the description is a direct link to this actual page so this should all be good ready to go click the link it will download it uh, click show in folder so you'll have it here right click and select copy okay I'll just close that now what you want to do is you will have your remote plugged in uh, to the USB port in the side and also into the computer go ahead and turn it on that's normal uh, you need to format this disk yes format disk don't freak out it's not going to hurt anything click format disk you'll get a box pop up up here in the corner and click start and click ok formatting is done format complete select ok now what you want to do is open close that box now oops open uh, mine is plugged into the USB drive E so what you copied a while ago just paste let it complete here it's pretty quick okay there we go uh, paste it into E drive which is where the remote is plugged in go ahead and just close it off now what you want to do is power off the remote unplug it power back on and there you go so to test this go down to channel 10 click enter and now you will see it says throttle lock so and it's set to SWA which is the push button on the side so you can uh, you can set to let me go you can set the percentage so if you want to slow crawl you want your cruise control to be a very slow slow crawl you know set it to a low percentage if you want your your cruise control to be a higher speed just keep raising the percentage and testing it and uh, get it where you want it and hit enter that is how you download the firmware super easy and how you uh, adjust your cruise control so that's it for that part of it all right guys I have the SCX 10 2 set up here and I have let me focus there you can see I have the throttle lock on 13% uh, so what you want to do uh, that will be on channel 10 where you'll set this uh, push the button and you can see notice I'm not touching the throttle actually when cruise control is on you can touch the throttle and it does nothing you have to actually push the button and that will disable cruise control and then your throttle will be back to normal again push the button you got cruise control now what you can do is you'll see here let me get to the focus adjust the speed you see the wheel as I go higher in percentage one thing I did uh, realize is uh, some rigs 
like if they have the reverse motor like setting um, on the other side of the of the transmission uh, if you have to reverse your throttle like on vehicles with portal axles you sometimes have to reverse the throttle and then that of course uh, messes up your cruise control so if you get the focus here and go back see I was in negative now if I go positive okay there's positive you see the plus 14 percent and then I hit the button you'll see I'm cruise control in reverse so you, whatever however you got your RC set up it doesn't matter because you can always set cruise control for forward or reverse no matter what your throttle setting is on in the menu so if you run into uh, an issue where you hit cruise control and it's going in reverse then just go to uh, channel 10 and either go positive or negative depending on which one it's doing so if it's going you know if you're on positive 14 and you're going in reverse then of course just hold that down until you know you're in the negatives and then you're back to forward so it don't matter what kind of system you have um, if you have to reverse your throttle or not the um, you can get the correct direction by going positive or negative in the throttle lock under uh, channel 10 right there under that so it'll say idle up so that's um, that's how you do it so if you know you want a slow descent you know you can set this as slow and of course this is just stock electronics you know stock motor stock um, stock ESC so of course the better system you have in it the smoother it's going to be so you can set you know like a really slow controlled descent um, that way you don't get on the trigger too much and end up sending your RC off the side of a rock or who knows whatever but yeah that's how you do it and uh, also how you can reverse the cruise control if it is going backwards for you that's going to do it thanks for watching and we will see you next time